Lighting Up the Way, Valley Electric Association. Unfortunately, there's been enough school shootings lately, since January even, I think this is the 18th one. Um, I would, I would, I don't want to say the kids are desensitized to it, but um, the conversations always go on. We watch CNN student news, and and the kids are aware of what's going on. They know that we practice the drills for active shooters. They know that um, we support that there needs to be um, a decrease in gun violence and school shootings. So. Um, some of the kids that did the walkout last week didn't even know why they were walking out. And so it's important for them to understand what it's about, um, that gun violence needs to end, and it's going to take a lot of different ideas in order to meet that. And um, hopefully the kids will uh, work with their parents and work with us and come up with different ways to end gun violence. You used to have resource officers in the school. Um, I know that uh, those were eliminated because of a lack of funding. Um, how does that affect you guys? Well, we've been fortunate to where when we call Nye County Sheriff's Office, they, they get here pretty quick, which is good. But, it, you know, to say that it wouldn't uh, hurt to have a, a person on site, absolutely, that'd be great. What types of precautions are you guys taking now? We, Like I said, we do different drills. Um, we do drills monthly. Um, either fire drill or lockout or lockdown drills and we prepare students for for the possibility of an active shooter, for gas leaks, for fire. Um, the kids need to take it seriously, they need to understand and, and we try and promote that as much as possible is we never want to have this situation come up and if it does we're going to be prepared for it. And also to keep the eyes open and the ears open for kids that might um, be struggling with something or might have a clue that they might be having some issues? Well, I'll tell you, we, we have a lot, our counselors and our social worker are very busy. We, we have Safe Voice now that's uh, through the state mm -hmm. and that's an automatic reporting system and we've had uh, several reports come in for uh, depression, depression uh, for bullying, for um, students even talking about gun violence and uh, what happens is that goes to the state um, hotline the state then determines if it's a, a, a credible threat, sends it to Nye County Sheriff's Office, sends it to us, <coughs> excuse me, and, and then from that information, uh, we do the investigation possibly together. Sometimes it's on the weekend and Nye County Sheriff's Office goes to the house, which is great. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that's a, a way to also um, assist is the, the more people know or, or can report, the better it's going to be. We have our Sprigio system that's uh, also a, um, online anonymous reporting, if you will, and we've used that too. Um, but Safe Voice and Sprigio both assist us in knowing more. I can tell you that um, we take very seriously any, any comments regarding shooting and gun threats uh, within our school, and I think that's in every school in Nye County.